Hey guys. What you guys up to? Y'all, this is so sad. What happened to PNB Rock and my condolences goes out to his girlfriend and to his family and to his beautiful daughter. Like that is so sad and whew, like jealousy is really crazy and we gotta do better out here. This is so sad. Like that man was just having some food with his girl, like Leia's hanging in there, guys. Just doing good. Just hanging in there. Thank you guys all for the positive messages. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I have the white noise, um, the white noise on for her to calm her. But y'all don't want to know, like, my shower experience here at the hospital. Y'all, like, I think I was in tears in the shower, like, literally. Because I'm just like, I cannot believe this. It was just crazy. But, um, hey guys, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, she's, we're hanging in there. Okay, baby. Lay's over here. I don't want to show too much of her, but she's good. She's getting some rest right now. Thank you. Oh, good. It's been a long six days. Hey, OG. OG, can you bring me some food, please? I'm so hungry. Some real food, please. praying for you, you know that? <laughs> yeah, I know, I just been eating like hospital food. Yes, LG, please. Yeah. Her, um... All right, I'll text you in a second, LG. She's doing better. I'm trying to wean her off the um, oxygen, but she's doing much better today. We just gotta get her off this oxygen and we'll be good to go, but. Everybody says they love you, okay? Okay. Are you warm now? A coat, coat better? Yeah. You want to keep these on? Huh? Huh? You want the blanket on or off? On? Hmm? You want it on? Yeah. Or off? You want to watch a movie or you want to do this one? You like this? Yeah. Okay. You like the sounds? She loves this white noise, y'all, I swear. Let me see if I can find um Yes, mother is a fighter. She's gonna get past all this. We'll be out of here. Uh, I'm 
Let's try this one. Thank you, guys. It looks like this. Okay. I have to wipe this, Lele. Okay? She's all snuggled in. I've been trying to feed her, um, like, I'm trying to get her, like, some scrambled eggs, but she doesn't want to eat anything, so just gotta give her like that she like the well for adults it's like the end shore but i don't know if you guys know what the pd shore is oh my god great I have this with no spoon great 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 I gave her, I try to give her applesauce. I, uh, I try to do like yogurt. I did some mushed eggs, but they trying to give her like, it's called puree. She's not eating that at all. She doesn't want that. Hey, you have one? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so y'all, I've been Netflixing. I've been on Netflix, like, what is it called? Net Netflix binging, y'all. I just came here to talk to you. Hey, Miggy. But I've been Netflix binging. Cheese crackers. Um, she doesn't want no food. I've tried that. She just the inshore is pretty much considered um, a meal. So that's as long as she's uh, drinking more so, having fluids is better. Gave her a little pedicure yesterday. So. Mm hmm Fluids. As long as she having more fluids, I'm not saying she doesn't have to eat. But that's more so making sure she stays hydrated. So. The insurer gives her like a meal supplement. It's like a meal supplement. Meal supplement. I didn't give her this. I mean, I've been eating this because I haven't been having an appetite. I haven't really ate in like six days. So I've been trying to eat in like small portions. But I think today I'm really hungry and I really want some real food. Yeah. Um, yeah, the in so the um, Pedia Shore is pretty much inshore. Um, is inshore.
um, thank you guys. I just was, you know, yesterday was a rough day for me, and then all that stuff that was happening on media just seemed like, I don't know what's going on in the world, but let's just pray for peace, guys. Let's pray for peace around the world, and protecting our, you know, our, our brothers, and, you know, it's like every two months a new rapper is going, and Thank you. You know, we just gotta do better in this world because there's too many people dying. Like in 2020, between 2021 and 2022, I haven't seen so much um, so much people just going and families being without their loved ones and men just being away from, not being able to be there, you know, anymore for their kids and moms becoming, you know, by themselves. So they just called to imagine what it, you know, what she's feeling. And then like, of course, the negativity from the world. It's one thing, yes, this should be a message to everybody to not post your location. But at the end of the day, she was just eating, posting food. We're girls, we always do that. We're not thinking about you know what I'm saying, like, which is something we do also need to think about, but, you know, she didn't do nothing wrong, so for the internet to be attacking her and stuff, that's not cool, like, she let, her, let that girl mourn in peace, and, you know, I can only imagine she was right there seeing the, you know, father of her child and the love of her life get murdered in front of her, like, we gotta just be sending love and positivity to her, like, that's not good. But that should be a message also. You know, I see it from both standpoints. It's just, it's not nobody's fault. It's just sad because people nowadays are just watching what people have. And it's a recession and people don't have it. So they see what, you know, other people have. Wrong place, wrong time. That's just what it was to me. Yeah, but at the end of the day, he works hard. He was able to post whatever he wants to post. Yes, we need to be more mindful and more smarter on our moves and what we do put out here. Um, on social media because you never know who's watching but I just feel like you know we need to send love to her because you don't know what state of mind she's in so um, I wanted to reach out to her but I don't think her page is there anymore but you don't know what state of mind she's in and I wouldn't know how to relate because I've never been in that situation and I prayed never to be in that situation and you know I just feel really bad she has a little girl a beautiful little girl so and we can't blame nobody, so. And it's really sad. And whoever did that to him, I just hope you guys know there's a special place for you guys. It's a special place for people like you that do things like that. And that goes for anybody that do stuff like that. It's a special place. He took that man's family. No. Well, this is what, I mean, listen, y'all, at the end of the day, this is what the internet is made of. People think the internet is made for positivity. It's really not. This is just a whole, like, facade that we're living. This is a whole app that create people to become something that they're not. Wanting people to become something that they're not. Wanting people to be thinking that they're better than people. And we have people that do work hard every day and then they see other people having this lifestyle you know what i'm saying like okay listen so okay yeah this should break from that she's just taking your blood pressure okay just on your, you know, we do this all the time in the life. Just that, okay? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, this internet stuff, like, this has to stop. I really wish society could just change, like, 
just everything. It's just, I don't know. I remember, and I don't know, I'm 28, but I remember back in the day there wasn't Instagram. There was, but nobody really cared about it. Whoever were celebrities were celebrities. Even me, before I became Alexis Scott, you know, I was a little popular on like MySpace and Tumblr and things like that, but nobody knew what an Instagram was. Nobody, life back then, I don't know how old I was. I was in probably middle school, I would say. Middle school, high school is when Instagram became more. But things have just changed, y'all. Anyway, I just wanted to speak on that, and I'm just sitting here in the hospital, and um, we just got to do better in this, you know, society, we just got to do better, and love on our people, and spread love, and protect one another, be careful around your surroundings, be very careful around, about your surroundings and stuff like that. Yeah, like, MySpace days, Tumblr, Twitter has always been around, but Instagram just became so much more of a thing, and it's just like, then, you know, what they did was create blue checks, and now when you have a blue check, you're, you know, you're somebody, and it just, it changed so much, so now it's just like, it went from you could be able to post anything you want, to now you have to just be careful to what you posted, so... But my condolences go out to her um, and her family and her beautiful daughter. And I just hope, you know, she gets through this. Seriously. So. Yeah, leave all the negativity out of here. We don't. I don't believe any of that. I think it's just wrong place, wrong time. At the end of the day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know, y'all. Um, TC, I know you just called me. That's why I declined your call because I'm alive. You know, I know my friends know that I'm alive. And then they call. He will. God has a special place for all people. Um, nobody's perfect, but you just, you know, the mouth is real powerful, so just watch what you say. I'll be having to watch what I say sometimes, shit. Because my mouth sometimes, sometimes I don't have a filter, but you gotta just stop yourself and think, you know. Even yesterday when I'm arguing with certain people I said some things that I had to like ask God to forgive me because I don't even believe that she brought me down to that character because you know out of anger because I don't play by mine I want my baby so you know but yeah hey Shay I'm really, I'm coming down with a cold in here. Yeah, God is good, and people break it, seem to forget that we all have one thing in common, that's that so everyone needs to be the truth, that's not everyone. Tiffany, yes, girl, I don't know, I've been here, and I just started, like, getting the sniffles, but. Um, I don't really want to speak on the surgery um, that she had. You know, I would love to share things with you guys and all the positive people that do love um, 
the people that do love her. I love you guys. All her cyber aunties. I love you guys. So, um, you know, I just know that you got to be careful on things that you put out because there's people that's praying against people and stuff. So I just want to protect her by all means. But she is doing good, better than yesterday. I think every day she's improving. Uh, we just got to get her, you know, off the oxygen to, you know. But she's good. She's covered by the blood. Um, no weapon formed against her will ever prosper. She's covered by the blood of Jesus. My daughter is anointed, and I ain't worried about that. But you got to just be careful what you say. So. Right. We love you. Hey, Smitty. What's up? And all her cyber aunties that DM'd her, she said she loves you. You know, in Lele's voice, she's like, hi, guys. Hi, guys. So, this is Lele. She goes, hi, guys. Hi, guys. So, <laughs> she's like, I love you guys. Nice, yeah, Lele. Uh -uh. Hey, Charity. Thank you, boo. <clears throat> This yogurt is not as fresh today. Um, OG, please bring me some food, please. For real. Aw, you guys are sweet. Y'all gonna make me cry. All the love she gets. Lele, you got so many cyber aunties, girl. They all love you. Team Lele. That's what I always tell anybody. I don't give a damn what anybody say about me. Y'all can call me all the names of the world. I don't care what I do. I don't care. But when it comes to Lay, Lay got an army behind her, okay? You know what they say. Lay got an army behind her. Yeah, OG, I'm going to hit you when I get off of here. Um... I think that one thing I've learned being in here, I've been here by myself. Um, I had, like, you know, my family come, like, once or twice. My mom's in Georgia right now, so she can't be here. And then my grandma is older, and she can't handle being in the hospital. Plus, I don't want her in the hospital. But I've really just been in tune with myself for the past six days. Um, one thing you guys don't know about me, I have, like, really bad um, ADHD. I can't sit still. So this took a lot of... Um, Obviously, number one is a sacrifice for, that we, as a parent that we make for our kids. You know what I mean? Being here, I was able to shower today for, like, not the first time. Because we're well, really the first time with my real first shower. Because the other days I had to, like, wash up in the sink. But today, like, I said, I wanted to cry taking the shower because... I wanted to cry in that shower. But y'all should see me. I like that. in here i ain't gonna lie yes i had instagram yes i have netflix but between me and lay having my bonding time with her making sure she's good having her up under me loving on her love helps people heal as well and then me the craziest thing is i had a breakdown like the other day I just started crying, like I was losing it. I was pacing back and forth in this hospital because I'm like, all right, like, no. I just started going off on everybody. Yeah, I just started spazzing on everybody. I was like, oh my God, I think I'm going crazy. <laughs> Wait, I got past it, y'all, I'm good. Do I regret traveling so much without her? Um, Honestly, Y'all, see, this is the thing, and I'm not trying to be rude to you, like, about your, I know this is a question that you're asking me, but I don't post my every move, so you guys don't know when I'm with Alea, when I'm not with Alea, because it's not nobody's business, but just know, when I'm away from her, I balance my time away and my time with her, so if I know I'm going 
to work or if I'm going on vacation, it's okay to have you time. And this is what I've always said. It's Being a mother is just as hard and doing it by yourself. You have to have time for yourself. So I make time for myself, my daughter, and my priorities. My daughter comes first before anything. So if I wanted to go on vacation, but I can't because Lele has things that tending to her appointments or she has something going on, I'm not going. So she's my priority. But when she's in school and she has her schedule, I have her in a great school. My grandma is my number one support system. My mom's my support system. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like when she's in school between seven to four, she's occupied getting the therapy that she needs. She comes home, my grandma's there and if I'm gone, I'm gone and if I come back I'm there a week or two with her, take a break, go back, do what I need to do. But it's all about balancing parenthood, motherhood. you got to balance it. And once you balance it, it just becomes what it is. Now, if it was up to me, if my daughter didn't have as much health conditions, she didn't have that many, but um, if she, you know was able to fly because she can't be flying all the time I would you know have her wherever I'm at with a traveling nanny but you know she has a very like weak immune system so I don't want to have her all over the world with me but what I am going to do is get her passport and for her fifth birthday I'm taking her out the country for the first time so I'm gonna take her out the country for her birthday I don't know if we're gonna do a cruise or just like an island because I always do, like, a birthday party for her, so I'm going to take her on her first vacation for her fifth birthday, and as she gets older and her health improves, then I'll be able to travel with her more, but it's going to get easier as she gets older. These stages are the hardest stages between one and four, five and six, they get, you know, they're more, Lay is more, very mature, so she does a lot of things on her own. She's potty trained. She knows how to get herself something to drink. She goes to the fridge. She knows how to tell what she wants. She gets her clothes on. I, you know, she knows how to put her pajamas on. She, um, you know what I'm saying? The only thing I'm trying to get her to do is, like, not drink so much of the pediatrician, but that's her comfort. But she is very advanced, and she's up to date to wherever she needs to be. Um, her conversations, girl, whew one of a kind sometimes I gotta watch what I'm saying because she repeats everything so once I get her um to where I want her to you know to be and I feel like okay well I don't know if I want to put her in public school if I want to have her homeschooled or if I want to you know she's in pre-k right now but when she starts like first grade second grade and all those things I don't know if I want to put her in a public school so that's something that I'm thinking about I might have a homeschool teacher and then put her in activities um I don't know I gotta think about it depending on what I'm gonna continue doing with my career where my career goes my schedule um I'm gonna figure that stuff out but um she does have to do one more surgery after this though um for her balancing private school is definitely what I want to do but I have to um I have to make sure that the private school that she goes to um, has, like, the curriculum that she needs, so. Thank you, Mariah. I miss you, baby, and I love you. Yeah. The only thing about home, I think homeschool would probably be, like, she she has to be around other kids, so. We'll see. And then I was, like, researching, like, I don't know, like, do kids go to kindergarten in fifth grade? I mean, not fifth grade, five or six, because some people said, like, pre-k goes up to five and then put them in kindergarten at six so i wouldn't let her do one more year of pre-k and then when she turns six get her into uh kindergarten yeah they gotta make sure because like right now um she has like oh five okay so wait five her birthday is january hi jonathan so pre-k is five or kindergarten okay 
All right, cool. So yeah, so she has one more year of pre-K, and then so when she does kindergarten, we'll do private school. But I gotta find like a good private, and wherever I purchase my home, that's what I'm working on now. So really, it's just gonna depend on like what best, whatever the schools are the best for her. Then that's where I have to go. No, put her in kindergarten at five. No, she needs to. She turns five in September. Uh, yeah, I'm doing kindergarten by like six and six grade. Her birthday is January fourth, twenty twenty three. Five is kindergarten. Yeah. Yeah, her birthday is January 4th. Yeah, exactly. So she has to start kindergarten at 6. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to have to do one more year. Okay, y'all confusing me. 3 and 4 is junior 5 is coming. Okay, but Lele is still four, and it's now a new school year. So, dude, she's, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I was going to keep her in pre-K, and then five. Oh. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. She'll be turning, yep. Yeah. She'll be five turning six. Okay. So, September 2023, she could do it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> anyway. I don't think she could, yeah. Okay. Alright, well. Y'all just that's confusing me. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna talk to her school. She was staying pre-K this year. When she turned six, she would start kindergarten. Okay, perfect. Exactly. So she needs to finish this school year. Yeah, like y'all oh, confusing me. <laughs> ah. Anyway, um, I'm really hungry. So what do I use on my skin? So oh, honestly, just water and um. Apple cider vinegar. Yeah, I'm going to call the school. <laughs> yes, I am going through a lot, but I'm good. Thank, thank you. Girl, nobody's even speaking on that. So how about you get off my live and you're just going to get blocked. Um, no, I really, hi, uh, nails on 7th. Um, I prefer not to show her right now. Um, hey, Shy. Um, yeah, I don't want to show her right now. She's just. In her healing process, so I just want to respect her privacy, and I hope you guys too um, can respect that. But she loves you guys, and as soon as Lily's up and active, I'll let her. I don't need to block anybody because God is blocking them already. So let them talk and tell you, listen. Whoever's on here speaking evil or speaking whatever, 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 God is already about to block you, okay? So whatever you thought you had going on, it's all blocked today, just for speaking negative. So, yeah. I swear, y'all, this white... 
thank you. Um, this white noise, it even puts me to sleep. Y'all, this is such a suit. Like, every time I put it on, she's out in 10 minutes. Like, I sleep with it all the time, but I never, like, put it on for her. Like, as a baby or nothing, I never put it on for her. And literally, out. Okay, well... Um, I'm asking questions. What's your plans?